Yes, YouTube, what is good? Your girl Abs Iggy is back. I have been gone for a minute. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit that like button, post notifications, and comment away. So today, by the title, I am going to be talking about what are some of the benefits um, of being a stud, really. So I'm going to talk about the pros and cons now. Stud basically are females that um, present themselves in a more of a masculine way. Let's just say, um, you know how we know how the world is moving now. People look different. Sometimes you can't tell what people identify as and what they don't. But um, that's that's what it is. Anyways, right. First benefit I'll say of being a stud is, you know what? It's easier I find to get moved to by girls. What I mean by is, so if, if you look at me, yeah, I think most people will know. Cool, she's a girl that likes girls. Do you know what I mean? It's pretty simple. So sometimes I don't really have to work. Do you know what I mean? Because you also get a lot of girls that like girls that don't look like they like girls. Do you get what I'm saying? So those ones that see me, they know that I like girls because you can just look at me and kind of tell. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I ooze women. You know what I mean? Um, so it's easy I find for them to kind of come up to me start conversation with me whether I'm on a night out um, you know whether it's in a, in a place of work or anything like that um, yeah they get a sense of what I'm about so I find it quite easy I, and you know I like it you know sometimes if I'm on a night out you know I don't have to I have to not have to work to be honest they're the ones coming up to me or they're sending their friends to come talk to me um, or they're giving me the eye because they know what it is um, so that's definitely a benefit right one of my challenges constantly being mistaken for a little boy look like i said i know i look like a cute little boy but i'm not one i promise you i promise you i've got breasts i promise you i've got breasts i promise you i've got a working vagina yeah i'm not a boy so when i go into like supermarkets and buy things or alcohol they're like excuse me sir can we have your id and i just look at them like who said read the name again um or when I get calls from people, like, I don't, know, I don't know, it might be companies or it might be from a bank or something like that, and they hear me speaking, um, and I know I've got a deep voice, so they might be like, okay, sir, well, da 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 and I'm like, who's sir? Oh, not me. But I don't get too mad about it now. I mean, sometimes my friends might laugh about it. Or they're just like, do you not correct them? I'm just like, I can't be asked. Like, if I walk around my life just correcting people all the time, trust me, it's, I'm tired. I'm tired. Another benefit I'll say to being a stud is, and I don't know whether this is just my personality or whether it's the fact I look different or people are just intrigued, but I'm always attracting people, especially on the night out. Honestly, ask my friends. They're always like, why do you always attract people? I'm like, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I can be on a night out, you know, getting my groove on, shaking a leg or two, and there's always someone that's going to want to come up to me and talk to me. Always always i'm always attracting people and it's not always like normal people let's just say normal behavior it can be a lot of like weirdos and stuff like that and well maybe i just give out friendly vibes and stuff but I, it's definitely a benefit it's a positive it's a positive i can't i can't complain about it too much right another challenge let's say um <laughs> and look i feel like a lot of studs or masculine presenting females can identify me with this yeah are toilets and you're probably thinking abs what are you talking about toilets i'm not gonna lie to you people and listen I'll, I'll keep it real all the time on my channel yeah sometimes i get anxious going to the toilet so you know in this day and age you have female toilets and male toilets mostly like sometimes you have the baby changing ones or you have the disabled ones now when i see there's a female toilet i get anxious the reason being is because i walk into toilets and not all the time sometimes i do get you know there might be someone washing their hands or whatever a woman and then they just look at me and they look twice and then they think who's this boy that's just walked into the woman's toilets do you know what i mean like that's that's what i get um and it makes me feel away because it just makes me think mm -hmm -hmm, like should i be in here or what um or it makes me really like want to rush peeing it makes me feel away you know I've, I've, I've had situations where i've walked into the toilet as well like public toilets i'm talking about and i've had cleaners be like Sorry, the men's toilet is over there. And then I just look at them and just think. I just ignore them. Because I don't like being rude to people. So I just keep walking. You know, I'm not going to stand and say, oh, sorry, I'm a female. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's already a bit embarrassing as it is. 
um i have started noticing actually the last i'll say couple years there's now gender neutral toilets yeah um and that's fantastic when i saw them i thought Woo, praise the lord because now i can walk in there with my head held high i can pee in peace and not rush the process um so i have been in certain places in like certain theaters i've been to i've seen it in i've seen it in clubs now and i think that's great because honestly i know you know people that are part of my community the lgbtq one definitely it's it's, it's a win for us i think um i like it i appreciate it so much they're not everywhere though that's the thing um so that's made things a lot easier for me another challenge of being a stud um i would say ignorant people in general what i mean by that is so i've been on that let me give you an example so one time i went on a night out i went i went to shoreditch um i went to this one club i can't remember where i was and i was with i was with a couple of my boys there and I was just dancing, I remember. I was having a good time, good vibes. And one idiot, idiot boy, actual idiot, qualified idiot, first class honours in idiotness. I don't know if that's a word. Comes up to me, all, all with his drink in his hand. First of all, I just thought, since I told you I tracked people all the night, all the time. Come to me, trying to like dance near me, like Bob and Lisa, like this. I just thought, okay, cool. Um, didn't mind too much, but I was kind of conscious of him, like, what's this guy doing? Comes up to me and goes, so music's vibing, he's got his drink, he's like, are you a he-she? It's me, get out of my face. Move, man, it's like, you're going to spill your drink on me. He's like, what do you mean? It's me, move. He's like, are oh, you a he-she? And he's just bare shouting. And I got pissed off because it's like, I, I'm not stupid yet. I know people might be mistaken, but the way he approached me first of all it was just embarrassing it was loud he was drunk i just thought move do you know what i mean and then and then furthermore he tried to get rude i mean he actually almost got into a fight honestly it was that bad because i ended up pushing him away from me and he kept coming back to me like what's your effing problem blah 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 i just thought move like i don't know you like move from me um and then i remember my boys came and um got involved and stuff like that um like just to obviously calm things down um and to be fair to him later on he did come up to me in the night and he did apologize um so that was fine but you do get people say things i've had someone else say someone like that to me as well another benefit of being a stud um i would say that <laughs> now this is my opinion my humble opinion and i think a lot of my fellow studs and masculine presenting females out there would agree with me um is that we are best at <laughs> I don't want to get this this um video flagged yet but do you know what I mean like you know what I mean you lot know what I'm talking about I don't know I'm looking at my lips like something like something's gonna happen right now um yeah man I think we're the best at it like so girls that I've met that have never had an experience of being with a say a stud or masculine present a female and you know do bits they've definitely said they've never experienced anything like it so high five high five high five all my studs and my masculine present high five high five you know how we put it down um it's an experience for them you know it's experience and listen females if you've never had that experience before from a male listen go and find yourself a nice beautiful stud out there that um is willing and able don't use them don't use them though don't hurt their feelings but do you know what i mean like um you're missing out you only have one life so you know your life's too short to have dead uh pleasurable experiences let's just say so um you know we know how to put it down of course we do of course we do like it just makes sense we've got one we know how it works we know a way around it and inside of it so um I find them. Um, that's a that's a benefit. That's a bonus. Another challenge of being a stud. Hmm. Another challenge. I would say. You know what? For me personally, it's clothing. You know. So I like to wear men's clothing. If you ain't seen my last previous video, boohoo men, go watch it. Actually, um, I like to wear men's clothing. Right. So. I don't ever really shop in women's clothing. However, I understand that my 
body is still a woman's body so that means you know and generally like women do have broader hips for example so finding things like jeans are very annoying because men have small waists men are like straws you know what i mean like two straws together whereas we're more like two sausages you know what i mean like we generally got thicker legs and stuff like that so when i have to shop and buy and, uh, and try and find like jeans or anything and the bottom that fit it's just it's either too tight too tight around my thick thighs or do you know what I mean like or just like, or like if I buy shorts and it digs into my booty or something it's just hard I have tried to go to like women's sections before to like buy for example jeans stuff but it just it just don't work for me it just don't like I might not like the style or the way it looks so it is a bit of a challenge um I can't well I mean I can't even say that's a stud thing but it's a me thing it's a friggin challenge um right another benefit I would say generally a benefit of being a um, stud is a confidence do you know what I mean look there's a lot of issues in the world and there's a lot of judgmental people and there's a lot of people that you know don't want people like me here to exist ever and, and that's just the reality of it and I think for me when I started transitioning into a stud I never always used to look like this and there's a reason I'll say why I have transitioned however um I'll say when I started transitioning at first I was very very nervous about it because I thought now you know I, I was a little bit more in a closet and I can hide let's say who I was when I looked a bit more feminine um and it was easier to kind of live my life in a secret way you know people didn't have to judge me and stuff like that but once I started transitioning to me it was then screaming to the world hey you know I, I like women and blah 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 and it used to make me feel quite conscious you know like getting on train getting on public transport you know i thought people were staring at me because they know what i am do you know what i mean i'm sure a lot of people can relate um but over the years man it's just given me my i think to really be who you are look like who you are you know be being black being a gay female it, it, you have to be confident and, and looking like me you have to be you can't be a little wet wipe you know what i mean you can't walk around like a little wet willy you know what i mean feeling like a little victim you can't you can't you know there's this world how i am how, how i look this world has forced me to be confident um i think it's a beautiful thing and i think a lot of my fellow studs can relate because you know you, you you're already walking out your house telling the world who you are a lot of people have a lot of secrets a lot of people are still hiding who they are they don't want to be them real selves and that's a hard thing so to really come out and be yourself that's deep man um let's see another another challenge do you know what this is gonna sound mad but and i know i know a lot of a lot of you lot can relate our breasts like breastesses now if you're people like, people are different right and i'm not saying like i feel uncomfortable with them i love them I love touching them, they're soft. But what I'm saying is, when you wear certain clothing, you don't really want to be walking around with two big uncle lunkers, you know, when, when you look like me. It's just it's just not comfortable. And you do, and I know, because I've got stud friends and I've, I've met some over the years, it's just a thing of, when you dress, you kind of don't want that area to be looking out of order. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so you you know you do things to try and disguise it a lot more to not appear like you've got you know big ass knockers on your chest um, and that's why I say it's a challenge because I would never just walk out of my house just braless you know with my with my titties you know out looking like pyramids and Toblerone chocolate so I just wouldn't do it I, I just wouldn't feel comfortable doing it um so I definitely you know will wear baggier clothing and stuff like that and look I, just, I keep it real with you like, I don't need to pretend you know these are these is how this is how I feel and this is how I know a lot of people feel um so but yeah man that's a few of my benefits anyways and that's a few of my challenges um there's probably a, a lot more and I'll definitely um make a part two to it at some point so look if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you like subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel um and yeah see you next time